The view, which is really unfortunate, has been that the brain is very rigid. It doesn't change. And we know that that's not true. What happens is that stroke survivors, if they're motivated and they're in the proper uh, environment, will continue to improve for months and years after stroke. We had gone down to Canandaigua to um, celebrate an anniversary and we went out to dinner with the couple who owned the bed and breakfast. The waitress uh, asked me, did you say tomatoes or did you say potatoes? And it was at that point that I realized that I must have been slurring my words. And I noticed that the left side of his body, his arm was all curled up like this. My face had a, a bit of a droop in it. We got into the ambulance. I remember them buckling Joe up, buckling me up and saying, Mrs. Newton, we're going to go very fast. He'd had a major stroke, um, and that was, uh, that was the start. Stroke is an enormous uh, problem in Canada. Each year we have about 50,000 people who suffer stroke, and a great many of these individuals are left with permanent disabilities. It was much more difficult to, uh, to plan to, uh, to do more than one thing at a time. The vision of the centre is really quite ambitious. It's really a world in which stroke leaves no lasting mark. The recovery process is an ongoing process. It's 13 years of gradual change. One of the milestones for me was being able to eat solid food. It was such a treat to see the expression on his face when he bit into an apple after months and months. And he said that was the best darned apple he'd ever had. My husband used to watercolor paint um, prior to his stroke. And after the stroke, he seemed to gravitate toward it in a very big way. Oh, I find that painting allows you to uh, express your creativity. And other artists view my, uh, my paintings and comment on them. And it gives you a feeling of uh, satisfaction and, uh, and uh, self-worth. I never would suspect 12 years later that Joe would be doing, first of all, that he'd be here, that he'd be doing such an amazing job. And there really is just life now, and it's a good life. And that is due to um, stroke research. The prospects for recovery are much better today because we know things about the timing and the intensity of rehabilitation and you know newer techniques, more effective kinds of therapies, even in the kind of chronic phase, months after stroke has occurred, that can produce improvement that we never thought was possible before. The importance of research for me uh, is uh, that it allows you hope. Just the understanding of the brain and its plasticity and how it can change has enhanced our life and made it what I call our new normal. It's, it's never going to be the same as before the stroke, but it's still an extremely fulfilling and uh, rewarding uh, life. He is back to full-time cooking. That's just amazing. I leave him in the kitchen, he does his work, he brings out my dinner. It's the way it was before. There are other places in the world that study stroke recovery, but there's no one centre whose focus is purely stroke recovery, and that's what we do. And we hope that people will support our centre because, unfortunately, there's never really enough research funding to do the innovative kinds of things that we want to do. So without support from individuals, from businesses, corporations, and so on, we'll just not be able to make the advances that we would like to and improve the lives of stroke survivors and their families. Where we go from here and what we do beyond today, I can't say for sure, but I know that you will continue to enjoy life for what it is and uh, how precious it is. In the future, I see that stroke survivors will have a much better time of things. Their deficits will not be so debilitating. I think we'll see a reduction in the associated depression that goes along with so many cases of stroke, and they can look forward to a much better quality of life. The stroke was a storm. It was a major storm. It was a Katrina storm. We're into the calm period, the enjoyment period of recovery.
And now it's, it's, um, it's serene, it's, it's wonderful.